NFC, uh, Near Field Communication. Det är någonting Samsung satsar ganska hårt på i år. Och uh, bland annat så kommer man integrera chip i våra telefoner. Man har redan gjort det så att vi ska kunna använda telefonerna som en uh, elektronisk plånbok. Vi har skrivit en hel del om det här tidigare. Men uh, här har vi en ypperlig upp, möjlighet att uh, få en demonstration. Vi har med oss uh, Borga från Samsung. Så kan du please tell us a bit more about this technology? Yes, of course. So, uh, my name is Borga and I'm from Visa. So uh, this is this is a long-term partnership that we started with Samsung and Contacts Mobile Payments. So now we're introducing here in, in uh, Barcelona Mobile Congress. It's with the Samsung Galaxy S2 device, which is an NFC device, and and the SIM simple project that we hold here with for the for the with the Visa PayWave mobile technology. So uh, we got the we got the NFC device here. So uh, we got the user interface that enables you to make your payments, and this is a prepaid account which is loaded uh, by the by the by your bank so at uh, the basic transaction flow if you look at it so this is a contact dispositive device you need for the acceptance so if you go for a five pound transaction so you just enter the uh, amount and then you tap your phone on the device and the transaction is authorized yeah, so this is actually what we will see in stores this uh, unit here Exactly. Yeah. So this is offline approved because this is a low value transaction. I can print the receipt here as well and then the receipt comes out. And on the phone screen you see that you made a five pounds transaction over here. Yeah. Okay. So if you go to the history of the transactions, you will see that you have your five pound transaction here and then you can customize this transaction if you want to by entering if this is a Starbucks transaction you can enter I made this transaction at Starbucks and then you record it as Starbucks so the transaction is going to appear on your transaction history as Starbucks so you can you can make different transactions different types as well so if you make a high value transaction in this case so let's make a 25 pound transaction okay so the, the you have to present your card again so the post tells you you have to see your phone for the instructions so you tap your passcode and then you just ready to pay so this is approved again so this is a high value transaction as the transaction value is high for security purposes you have to use your passcode to authorize this transaction would it be possible to you to make several small transactions if someone for example steal your phone how would that work in security wise so, uh, so normally uh, for uh, you can set the transaction limit and you can set the transaction account to reset to for a certain number of transactions. In a standard way, you normally set it to three transactions. So once you make three times offline transactions, the phone asks you to authorize yourself once again for the fourth transaction. Once you authorize yourself for the transaction, then you can make further offline transactions as well. Okay, very good. When will we see this technology on the market in stores and uh, which uh, countries, for example, are you focusing on at the moment? So, uh, so this technology is now avail available in, in, in all Europe in 19 countries. As we uh, we are supporting the uh, contactless technology and mobile technology, and we're working on the acceptance as well. So we have numerous projects in in different uh, European markets which are live today. So this project is uh, for the Olympics uh, 2012 in London. We partnered with Samsung, and then we're introducing these Olympics phones to the Olympic athletes in, in the UK that they will be available to make their payments in the Olympic camp campus. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you very much, Morgan. Thank you very much.